Hi, hello everyone. This is Pablo with Crafties915 and welcome to another video. In uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your GCC Expert 2 LX cutter and Great Cut 4 software to do contour cutting on Nina 3G opaque paper. So stick around. Okay, so in your Great Cut software, we're going to Settings, click on Working Area, and I'm going to I'm going to select uh, a letter size working area because that's the uh, the size of the uh, transfer that I'm going to work with. I'm going to set it to Landscape, and then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to File, Import. I'm going to import this image right here. I'm going to set it right smack in the middle of the page. And with your image selected, you're going to click on Tools and Set Register Marks. Your register marks are going to be automatically placed. Now, the bigger this image, uh, you know, the farther away the register uh, marks are going to be. So you may need to uh, adjust your register marks depending on how big your image is. But for uh, in this case, uh, the image is pretty small. It's uh, 3.4 inches uh, uh, across. And uh, my register marks are perfect right there. So this is my page that's going to be printed. Now, before I print it, I want to set my crop marks. So with my image selected, I'm going to click on this icon, create contour line. Okay, uh, or you can press your K key on your keyboard. And that's going to give you this uh, dialog box, this box. Here, my settings are at the background recognition, a tolerance of 5% and the maximum grayscale at 51%. That uh, comes into play when you're working with uh, some images that have like a uh, gray background or, or something that you don't want to to affect the the you know the contour marks. So uh, I have it set at, at this uh, low uh, grayscale. I have keep interior elements unchecked because I don't want to cut anything inside uh, the image. For example, this image has this white. Uh, right there. So if I select keep interior uh, elements, uh, the contour lines are going to be also drawn right there, cutting the white out. And I don't want to do that. I just want to cut around the image. So I have this unchecked. I have an offset, contour offset of 0.1 inches because I want to give this uh, a, a like a white outline on there. Now, this is very important on the Extend It uh, button. Click there. This is a very poor quality image. This is a 72 DPI image. Uh, if I have my filter contours set to zero or set at five or, or anything in between, uh, the contour lines are going to be jagged and they're going to look really, really bad. So I want to set it to the maximum of 10. Uh, you want to do that with uh, low quality images. Uh, I'm going to adjust my curves at 10 so they're smooth and not jagged. And um, smooth curves at 10 also. Check no overlap. Click OK. And then uh, uh, click on Calculate. That's going to calculate your contour lines right there. OK, so now before we print, we're going to select the image by clicking on it and then hold the shift key and click on the register marks. That's going to print only those two things uh, and not the contour lines. So you don't want to uh, print the con contour lines. I'm going to go to File, Print. And as you can see, 
the objects that are selected are the only ones that are going to be printed. Make sure that you are on landscape mode. Make sure that you choose the, right, the correct printer and then click OK. Okay, now with my sheet printed, I'm using a uh, backing sheet. And I'm using regular paper today uh, because I'm just demonstrating how to do a contour cut. I have no inkjet uh, transfers to uh, to press this week, so there's no need for me to waste any any Nina paper. But I place my my sheet and my backing sheet, and then I'm going to feed it this way on my cutter so that my blade sits right on top of this register mark right here because this is going to be the key register mark that's going to uh, um, you know guide you know the the program or the cutter uh, in the right direction okay so i'm going to place my transfer on my cutter and with my cutter offline I'm going to set my origin so that my blade sits directly on top of that register mark the top uh, left register mark hit origin set when you have the, your blade on top of that, you know, directly right on the corner and then put it online. So now when you send the, uh, the command to cut, you know, for the output, uh, this uh, machine is going to read the register marks correctly. Okay, so now that uh, your transfer is on your cutter and you are ready to cut we go to file output click on ok when you get this and then you are going to make sure that you have your your correct uh, uh, cutter the expert 24lx and your mode should be cut with aas not just cut Cut is for vector images. You want to cut with AAS. On uh, your parameters, my machine is a little offset. And so here I can change the Y and the X offset uh, origins. I'm going to change my Y origin, negative zero. 0.032. Okay, click outside that box. And then my pressure is going to be at 80 grams. And like I said, I'm cutting on regular paper just for demonstration purposes. Uh, but you may need to adjust this when you're actually cutting the, the Nina uh, paper or whatever paper you're using. Okay, I'm going to click on preview. And there's my preview of the cut that's going to be made. And then you're going to click on output. So now your cutter is uh, reading the register marks with the laser.
and so there's my image that I just cut. I'm going to remove this. Remember, I'm cutting on, on regular paper, you know, so this step is going to be different. But you're going to weed out the excess and only leave whatever you're going to transfer. So as you can see, my machine needs a little bit of adjustment still on the uh, X and Y axis because it didn't cut perfectly around. And not only that, but also because you know the image was a, a low quality image. It was a 72 DPI. If this image was a 300 DPI PNG, it would have uh, you know cut very you know very nicely and very evenly around with that white border. This is how you do your contour cuts. We went through uh, the process, the whole process of making a contour cut using your GCC Expert 2LX. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something uh, new today. If you have any further questions on how to use this machine, uh, maybe for the next video I'll probably uh, show you how to do the um, uh, you know, keeping the interior elements and uh, also cutting a, an intricate design uh, using your Nina uh, transfer paper and, uh, you know, this cutter. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, if you like our channel, please subscribe. Uh, please recommend us to uh, other people. And if you have any questions, just comment uh, below. And uh, happy crafting. Thank you very much.